Hi, welcome back to my channel, Dance Crew. So today we are going to be talking about the movie Demon Slayer. Uh, I forgot how, what is it. Uh, uh, Demon Slayer, Kitsu, uh, Mr. Bishi, Jakasu, Mahatsu, Dahatsu. Something train. Dahatsu train. That was it. <laughs> that was it. So. We are again. So since y'all already heard the feedback, what I think of that movie, we're gonna do, we're gonna be see what his thought on the Demon Slayer. Is. Wait a second, Holmes. Oh, uh, no. You don't even know what I'm gonna do. Wait. Yeah. Uh, what's your thoughts on the Demon Slayer movie? Oh, uh, it was good. They should have. Um, uh, Wait, well, before we, he continues, ain't there are gonna be spoilers probably in this video? So. Oh yeah, spoiler lord. Yeah. Yeah. So if you haven't, if you still yeah. wanted to go see the a Demon Slayer movie, go see it. Stop watching this video. <laughs> Just stop it. Uh, now you can continue. <laughs> oh, um, I. Uh, it was a good movie. Um, lots of feels, I suppose. Beautiful animation. Uh, the characters were pretty, were pretty interesting. So, uh, I will have to admit, though, that the men in the movie cried way too much. <laughs> There was too much crying. So, what's your thought on Tanjiro committing suicide in his dream to wake up? Mm, this is a Japanese thing to do, definitely. <laughs> to commit suicide to wake up? No, just commit suicide in general. They apparently have a problem with suicide in Japan. What's your thought um, about that demon that put people to sleep with punching tickets, putting, um, putting them under their... His spell. Oh, um, good question. I don't know. Sounds like a real cool guy. Probably somebody you want to meet at the party if we're being entirely honest. Probably got some mad stories to tell. To be honest, he never, he hasn't even finished the TV show. I have yeah. not finished the TV show. <laughs> I was still, watching that. He still went to see it with me even though he, he didn't even finish that. <laughs> I mean, what is it really... You watch the theme song to an anime and you're like, oh look, there's a character and there's another character and there's another character. Now I know what all the characters look like. And if I go and see the movie without seeing the show, hey look, there's one of the characters. So we finally met one of the other three, uh, Kibitsuki or whatever. The, uh, out what? of the 12 Kibitsuki. Oh yeah, those. We did see one of those. At yeah. the very end, where Mr. Red Goku, or yeah. whatever his name is. Uh, the, uh, the Kid Sune. <laughs> <laughs> we did go see it in English, though, because I told him I, did, I don't read that fast, so I can't do English. Yeah, he can't read. He's a little bit. And then, so, what's he think of Mr. Red Goku and, and that? The upper free demon. Mm, well, the fight. Yeah, oh yeah, the fight, the fight. I thought that was interesting, pretty cool. It was, kinda, very, it was very intense. Oh yeah, it kind of made me kind of wish though that I was uh, watching like a Jockey Chan movie instead. <laughs> You know what I mean? You you, you get it. You get it. You do want to you, see Jockey Chan. So do you think he was going to win or do you think he was going to lose? Oh, I, I 100% knew he was going to lose. <laughs> I thought that they were going to end up killing each other, to be honest. So I didn't think that the demon would end up escaping, but, you know, he did. I so. mean, the, the dream demon died. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, I did. I knew that this... this uh, the flamey guy was gonna end up dying in the end. So the lower three, in the low, there's a lower twelve Kizukis, and then that there's a upper twelve Kizuki, mm -hmm. and we only met one upper, and there's no more lowers. 
All the Lolos are dead. We kind of moved on. We killed them all. I'm about to tell you with, with lower what that Tajiro killed. You got you got to test. <laughs> Watch it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm thinking about doing that. All in all. It was a good movie. There was no women, though. There needs to be more Wait, women in this movie. Wait, there was Nezuko. Nezuko does not count. <laughs> Nezuko is a dumb hoe. Okay? <laughs> so, we need more women. What do you think of, of Nezuko headbutting Tanjiro? <laughs> huh? I remember when Tanjiro was asleep, Nezuko came out of her box and headbutt. Oh, seems like normal sibling shenanigans, you know what I'm talking about. Although, I will say, this whole anime thing seems kind of to be a strange form of projection, I don't know. The Japanese creators of these things, they seem to, they seem to be like, yo, I want to be a guy like this, so this is how my character is going to be. And the guy like that, no women. No, no women at all. So it kind of makes you wonder if this the guy who's projecting himself onto this What's character he? or the creator is he a simp or is he not like not like chicks or something? What do you, like, what's what, going on? What's what, your what? thoughts on the beast guy, the beast demon slayer, the thunder demon slayer? No, well, one one was kind of a uh, beast like, and the other one was kind of thunder like, and yeah, that's all we have to. It's funny um, yeah. that he. When he's, a, when he's awake, he's really scared uh, when he's asleep. And when he's asleep... Yeah, well, <laughs> as I said before, he's uh, very devout. He's a devout Catholic. And, um, well, what we really want to do is we want all underrepresented groups to uh, feel equal. And, uh, yeah. And then... So, do you think we're going to see, see that leader again in season two somehow? We'll circle back to that. Uh, uh, re um, are we gonna see that? What do you think of the dreams that Sinus do and Beast Guy dreams? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I think the problem with these dreams is they're becoming very systemic, you know? So, um, this is like the, 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 the wage gap, and then like, um, and, uh, the, the, the women, and, um, you know, and uh, the, the, the hoes, and, um, yeah. So what's your thoughts do dream with Nezuko? Well, that was actually funny. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was funny. Oh, okay, back. They're not running through fields. <laughs> Poppy fields and, uh, what, what was the other one? Rice patties. Rice patties and poppy fields. What do you think of the kids going to their dream trying to kill them? I thought that was pretty interesting. Very Inception like, uh, you know. So when you got Mr. Red Goku, like choking that girl. Seems a little kinky to me. <laughs> what was the age of consent in Japan? Thirteen or something? I don't know. What's your thought on Man. on that beast demon sleep Slayer dream? I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> that's actually like pretty much what my dream would be. Like right there. That's it. <laughs> oh, everyone be an animal or something? No, not the animal pulp. Just like the whole, his whole take on everything, you know. What do you think, like when that kid enters his, enters his dream, that like he started being so creepy with, <laughs> in the darkness? Oh, that was pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> there was good things about this movie. There was a couple of good things about it, so you should go watch it. When do you think, when... About Tanjiro's dream, where he got to see his family. <laughs> Thought that that was stupid. <laughs> Think that maybe we should have waited a couple more seasons to make the movie. Okay? So uh, we can develop the characters it was, more. It was messed up that, that the demon kept putting him to sleep where... <laughs> yeah, with his sleepy powers. Where he uh, had to, uh... Wait... Like, uh, he had to, like, he even put, like, uh, the sleepy demon actually <laughs> put him back to sleep where his, all his family members dead again. <laughs> that was weird. I thought that was strange. Yeah. So what would you rate out this movie out of? 
I'm gonna give it eight. A, what out of ten? A three out of nine. Why? <laughs> because I think it dissolves a very nice one board. So do you think they're gonna beat beat that upper three again? Um. Kizuki. Yeah. Why? Because are are they just trying to find the get blood? Is it Tanjiro supposed to try to get blood samples from them that yes. they can create a an army? No, a uh, antidote. No antidote to oh. turn Nezuko back into human or yeah, something like that. He's trying to turn his sister back. So, uh, what I've been seeing all over YouTube, that Tanjiro is going to become Demon in Season 2. What's your thoughts about that? Do you think he's going to be turning? Sounds like a uh, plot point from Supernatural, if I'm going to be honest. Do you think he's going to turn Demon, or? I think he's going to turn gay. <laughs> okay, he needs to get some women in his life. Wait, what all right. What do you or else... What do you do? You know, it's a slippery slope. Next thing you know, Tanjiro's dancing on a float. How? I don't know. Dancing! What? On a float! What do you think of his flame powers at the end? Ooh, he is flaming, yes. At Tanjiro, remember, he did, he did something flaming at the end when he wanted to kill that... Oh, yeah. Even... <laughs> It was, I think that was pretty interesting. Pretty good uh, indicator of where he's going sexually. So, uh, what do you think got happened to this sword? Do you think he got to have to get a new one again? Yes. Because <laughs> he stuck it into something and it went away. Not into the demon. And then yeah. He put it in like a wall and the wall broke, squiggled away. He already broke his sword once. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> what a loser. sword. I'm not telling you how. You'll find that out later. What a loser. Now he lost his sword again. So is he going to take Mr. Red Goku's sword? Then, or is he going to get a new one from that weird guy? He's just, he's just going to walk. You know what weird guy I'm talking about, right? Mm, no. Like, the one that gave him his sword? The one that trained him, or the no. one that sword maker guy? The sword maker guy. Oh yes, get another sword from sword maker. What did you think of his face mask? No. <laughs> Pretty cool, but that has nothing to do with the movie. All right, but we're gonna wrap this up because we got a thing to do. So, you know, subscribe to me, subscribe hey, to him. My, this is my. Story. Everybody have a good hey, this time. This is my channel. This is my outro. Be be okay. <laughs> be well. You know. <laughs> Just hey, be fine. Hey, cut it, cut it. No. No. Hey. I'm talking to you. Right. Only well, you can stop well, forest fires. Follow my social media down in the description. Uh, He's follow, so abusive. Subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to my channel. Do it. He he, pretty weird. So you don't have to subscribe to me. <laughs> well, I'm my my content is better than his, but like hey, leaps and bounds. I get more views on a single video than you do. My content is better than his. I got already. Can 20, I get an I already, amen? I already got twenty six views on one of my videos. Oh, eyes. On the last two videos that I did of reviewing about stuff. Oh, clickbaiting. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna get more people in our squad that you haven't seen this on my channel yet. We maybe we got Maddie to come back with us. We need more women. But we barely hang out with her, so more women. So we're gonna have to find new people. <laughs> women. So yeah, so if you want to be joining the squad, but hit my uh, hit my social media, DM me and stuff like that. I don't really have a limit of how many people we have to have in our squad, but at least 
like 16 females in us. <laughs> so if you all an eligible bachelorette, go ahead. You try to do that before you go over that. Go, go ahead and, and contact us. <laughs> you know, leave a message. Okay, a self description, couple of headshots maybe. Alright, uh, see, see y'all next time, dear. Do it, women. Women.